Dr. Follow-up segment tonight, as we initially re reported last night, Attorney General Loretta Lynch met with President Clinton at the Phoenix airport on Monday. Because of the ongoing federal investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails, that meeting has now become a major problem. Was it appropriate for you to meet with former President Clinton um, while your agency is in the middle of an investigation of his wife's email servers? Well, I did see the president uh, at the Phoenix airport the other night. As I was landing, he was headed out. Uh, he did come over and say hello and speak to my husband and myself and um, talk about his grandchildren and his travels and, and things like that. So that was the extent of that. And no discussions were held in any cases or anything of that. And he didn't raise anything uh, about that either. And joining us now from Phoenix, KNXV TV anchor Christopher Sine, who broke the story. So first of all, um, they were in a private, they were in private planes, right? And, and they were in a hangar. Is that what happened? Basically on the tarmac in a private section of Sky Harbor International Airport, where a lot of the high-profile people fly in and out of the airport. How did you get on to the fact that they were meeting? I was leaving for the day. Got a, a tip. From a trusted source, and naturally, you could think my jaw dropped. I trust this person, took the information, had a private meeting with uh, my uh, management at the uh, studios here in Phoenix. We then uh, went after a second source. I achieved that. They both had the exact same information. Neither one of these sources knew each other. We then had the information. We are armed with the information and took that to the news conference, and we were already prepared to go with the story even before we asked the attorney general if indeed she met with the former president. Okay, so, so from my understanding, uh, the attorney general was landing or had just landed, and, and Mr. Clinton was already in Phoenix, and he knew she was coming in on a private plane, and he wanted to wait to chat with her, and then he boarded her plane, and they had the conversation. Is that how it went down? That's right. That's right. She, as a matter of fact, landed on time. He and his entourage were running late, according to my sources. They then make the decision, they meaning the president's team, former president's team, they wait for her to land. She arrives. Some people step off of her plane. The former president steps into her plane. They then speak for 30 minutes privately. The FBI there on the tarmac instructing everybody around, no photos, no pictures, no cell phones. He then gets off the plane, gets on his own plane. He departs. She continues on with her planned, uh, planned visits. Okay. Um, why was uh, the president in Phoenix, do we know? To be honest with you, we have no idea. And uh, the attorney general, as a matter of fact, she said they talked about him playing golf. At this very moment, as I'm talking to you, I've reached out to several sources, those with intimate knowledge of his movements, because they work with these dignitaries when they come into Phoenix. Not one so far has said that he played golf. I'm not saying that he didn't play golf. I'm just saying I've yet yeah, to confirm that he played golf. Yeah, we don't know what he was doing. All right, well, the appearance of impropriety right. is the... Uh, is the uh, story here and uh, good work mr sign excellent work you and I your station it. very good very good we appreciate you yes, thank sir. you with us now here in new york city democratic strategist mark hanna author of the book the best worst president now um as we discussed last night just the appearance of this meeting uh is disturbing is it not uh, a lot of people in the democratic party uh, are upset with the optics of it sure what does that mean it means that it doesn't look good but when you consider what bill clinton does this is I reached out to somebody who works with him closely and this is an, uh, a courtesy he extends to members of Congress foreign dignitaries all cabinet I'm not positions. so much worried about him no he met he no, actually met, a, with, he met a, with Ted Cruz on the yeah. tarmac all right a couple but Ted Cruz isn't investigating him. his wife sure. um, but this is a look, common occurrence we all know that they it is board the plane and that it is on his side he's a uh, a very social man uh, gregarious and and uh, you know what he does doesn't concern me at, at in this juncture but the attorney general has to know well, she knows that there's an investigation going yeah, on. For and she sure. has to know when, it, when the husband, a powerful man in his own right, of the, of the subject of the investigation, right. enters a private plane alone. She also and stays with her for 30 minutes, not, hi, how are you? Right. She also was paying a courtesy call to the f former president of the United States. It's not an easy thing to wave that, that no, off. No, but here's, whether, what, whether it was here's what she or, should have done, in my opinion. You get off your plane, you right. walk 
onto the tarmac, you greet him, right. you talk with him in full view of everyone for two or three minutes, both, and then you go on your way. Both these people have security details. Loretta Lynch has the FBI around her. Bill Clinton still has so a what? Secret Service They're around her. They're standing on a tarmac they, but, with him. But they both know that this, the news of this is going to get out. No, that they there didn't. are all sorts of witnesses to what's this, happening. This they reporter. just wrote a, a book. A Secret Service agent just wrote a book. This Which reporter broke the supposedly. story. A local reporter, sure. the national net media had no idea. Right. All right, let's get back just to, to this. You say that some Democrats are upset right. about the meeting. It correct? gives fuel to the fire of all the conspiracy yes. theorists. Does it yes. not? Sure, it does. Sure, it does. So, what should, in your opinion, Attorney General Lynch do? Recuse herself? I don't know how you possibly do that I, as I, a prosecuting attorney for the United States. I, I think people have kind of a comical uh, sort of uh, understanding of how involved she is in this. This this investigation is being led by career uh, yeah, FBI has to bring agents the and charges. investigators that have you know many of them are probably Republican, but they don't see the world like you and I, Bill, through a political lens. They she has see the to world, bring the charges. They it has see nothing the world to do with the FBI. whether something is lawful or not lawful, and with a high profile investigation like this, you better be sure those FBI agents, if they don't take, if, if Loretta Lynch doesn't take their recommendation, you know that you're going to have a couple that go rogue and talk to people. Well, like if you. Loretta Lynch doesn't take their investigation, uh, their recommendation, the FBI, everybody right. should know that. She'll be impeached. Okay? She'll be impeached. She'll that's, take, that's she'll take the rec I, I mm. suspect she'll take the recommendations she will. of her. She will. Her. But if it comes back, and this is bad for Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton should be mad about this. If it comes back that Hillary Clinton isn't going to be charged. The FBI says there isn't enough uh, evidence. evidence. Right. Why does Hillary Clinton want a tainted case? She just wants to say, good, I'm glad. So this is bad for her. It's bad, bad, it, it's bad optics, no it's question. It's bad everything. It gives fire to the uh, conspiracy right, theorists. That. But you know what? American people, when, uh, from a political standpoint, don't care. They care about their bank accounts. They care no, about the national they care security. About this. They don't she, care about Hillary they, Clinton's emails they care anymore, about Bill. Running, they just don't. They do. And they care about who's running for president, and they care about their government being honest.